Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Unity's mobile notification package. I'm only covering notifications for Android in this video. Mobile notifications are essential for increasing user engagement and will lead you to best conversion rates. So without wasting any time, let's dive into the implementation part. Alright, I have an empty project opened in Unity. Before start coding, we need to import a package called mobile notifications from the package manager. For that, go to window, package manager and select Unity registry in packages. Scroll down and find mobile notifications. Install it. It will take some time to import. After importing, go to hierarchy and create an empty game object called android notifications. This is the game object we attach our script to. Then make a script called android notifications and open it in visual studio. Delete the update method, we don't need that right now. First add a namespace called unity.notifications.android. To send a notification, we need to create a notification channel and add a notification to that channel with a channel id. So to create a notification channel, type android notification channel, I'm calling it notification channel, is equal to new android notification channel. Here we need to give an id, a name, the importance and the description. This id will be used to identify this channel in the future. Suppose you have two types of notifications in your app, for example notification about updates and notifications about offers. You can name which channel is this through giving a name and the user will have full access to enable or disable the channel in settings. This will help users to choose which type of notifications they want to receive from your app. Importance is the priority and description is the channel description. It's better to set your importance to high for better user engagement. Next, register your notification channel to Android Notification Center. Ok, now we need to create a new notification. For that, type Android notification, I am calling it notification is equal to new notification. Here you can customize how you want your notification shown in the mobile device. There is a main title, a subtitle, a small icon, a large icon and a timestamp. Type main and subtitles as you want. Before adding small icon and large icon, we need to set up them in Unity settings. For that, go to edit, project settings. Then select mobile notifications. Under android section, you can add icons. So add two icons and type some names to identify them. I'm typing icon1 and icon2 and set icon type small for one and large for other. Ok, now get back to the script and type those identifiers The And lastly set show timestamp equal to true. You can schedule notification fire time by add seconds, add minutes or add hours. I'm adding 20 seconds here for testing purposes. Now to actually send this notification, we need to call a method called send notification in Android Notification Center and pass this notification we created and the notification channel ID. Everything done. This will work perfectly fine. But there's a chance that since we are writing all this in start function, if we open this scene more than one time, the same notification will be scheduled more than one time. This will lead to firing of save notification over and over again. To avoid this issue, we need to check if the notification is already scheduled or not. To check that, make an if statement and type Android Notification Sender dot check schedule notification. Here we need to pass an identifier of our notification. For that, type var identifier equal to before the send notification method. Pass this identifier and check if it is scheduled or not. If true, then cancel all notifications and resend the notification again. This will solve the issue. And one more thing, apps will remove all scheduled notification when the device restarts. So to reschedule all of them, go to edit project settings under mobile notifications, check this reschedule on device restart checkbox. Alright, save everything, get back to Unity and take an Android build. Open the app on your phone and check the notification after 20 seconds. There you go, everything works fine. That's it, that's your Android notification implementation in Unity. You can schedule notifications according to certain user actions or something to effectively use this feature. There's also another kind of push notifications which uses Firebase. 
Its advantage is that it will let you fire custom notifications anytime. It works like sending a message. So to know how to do that, hit the subscribe button and you will be notified whenever I upload. Firebase notification video will be my next video, so don't miss that. As always, like, comment, share which will help out the channel a lot. And lastly, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.